Hey, 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 it's a uh, Matt V2099 here. 360 no scope. I play video games. I uh, ran out of bacon, so uh, and I was roasting it on my AK, but uh, I clogged up my AK and my Glock with some uh, some Twinkies. So um, now I'm gonna give you horrible advice on uh, what you should spend your money on for prepping. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's go ahead and spend uh, $2,500, uh, yeah, on about a big fat golden turd, uh, yeah. You know, uh, don't worry about all those, a uh, bunch of stuff, yeah, just get a $2,500 big fat turd, and, uh, you'll be great. Yeah, that's the best thing you should do, uh, all the other stuff be damned, uh, big fat golden turds are for me. Great. 360 no scope, I play video games. Alright, 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 it's the White Tiger Night, and, uh, yeah, I apologize for my regular subscribers there. Uh, yeah, Matt V twenty nine nine. I saw a video. I made some comments on his thing about um, you know possibly getting some kind of a you know a setup for say even twenty five hundred dollars. So we'll talk about some of that now. Um, I think this is a perfect example here. Uh, just five four five here for about uh, five seventy five hundred seventy dollars, and uh, I think this is a great caliber for any prepper. A great gun. Um, it always works. You don't need a big fat golden turd and. Uh, you can get ammo for super cheap, and especially if you're a beginner, if you learn on this, if you buy one of these and you uh, go ahead and shoot and get any, you know, thousands of rounds to this bad boy, you'll be much better off than buying some golden turd with no ammo and uh, thinking you're ready to go. So, um, you know, again, this is for anybody who's really interested uh, in being a smart person and not a fucking complete idiot retard, and uh, you know, no offense for him, I think he's got some cool stuff, but, you know, I think you can use your money smarter and... Uh, you know, have a better budget. So uh, this is just some looks at some stuff. If you want to go uh, bigger, you can go the 762 by 39 You can get the bigger caliber. Um, it's actually cheaper, actually. Uh, and I would recommend, again, if you think uh, by any chance you will need one of these things in any type of situation, then you're probably going to need one of these, uh, which, again, is a plate carrier, and that's a pretty good uh, pretty good value. You can hold your pistol in there, some extra magazines, and uh, you don't have to always strap it on and go commando. But if you ever really need... Uh, you know, use your rifle, you're probably going to want to need one of those. Because again, uh, you can get another rifle, we can't get another fucking chest. The next upgraded candidate on my list is actually the uh, Glock 23. Now, he recommended the Glock 19, and I, I somewhat agree with that potentially, but the Glock 23 is a much better value because you can easily convert it to a Glock 19. Uh, you can get every single part, basically, um, and uh, you can use it for 40 caliber, 357 SIG, and 9mm, uh, as well as... Um, so I think it's just a lot more flexibility and much better uh, choice than the Glock 19. It uh, really limits you. Um, for the ability to only shoot 9mm, you can't upgrade at all. So I would definitely recommend the 23 or the 27 or the 22 over any of the 9mm model. This is going to be uh, looking at something that's overlooked again. But again, yes, it's included in the price here. $175 for 1,080 rounds of uh, 545. And you can get more, but uh, that's what I included in the price just to start out again for beginners. Uh, 762 by 39 you want to go that route, it's a little more expensive. Okay, you can get some 9mm, um, as you can see here, this is, um, you know, 250 for the 9mm here, um, and uh, 290 for the 40 cal. So it's a little more expensive, but again, you get the conversion barrel, you can save money. And uh, this is something else that's big. Again, Matt V29 now I mentioned that uh, oh uh, unconverted sagas are going for eight hundred bucks or some shit in his area, his area, his area, this and that and the other nonsense. And again, um I'm not trying to harp on him or bash on him, but you know, we have this thing called the internet and uh, I think you can get things pretty much anywhere. So again, and some of this stuff even has free shipping. So uh, as you can see here, four ninety nine for a uh, unconverted twelve gauge Saga pattern shotgun. And the best thing about these is you don't have to fumble around with reloads, you have a detachable box magazine that you can snap on that bad boy and you basically are a cut above any Benelli, Toten, POS because uh, you know it's a really hard uh, reloading um, just a standard issue type shotgun so I think the best thing about these pattern rifles even if it's not all tactical styled up is you got a detachable box magazine and you can even get a 20 round drum for that bad boy and now you're really talking so 500 bucks order on the internet and you can even save sales tax potentially in most areas it's a great way to do it. That's 2485, um, including the five four thousand rounds of 545 only. Again, I think uh, you know he mentioned the $2,500 level. I'll probably do some more videos of some cheaper stuff, uh, cheaper budget stuff. But if you got $2,500 and you have all the things that I mentioned uh, below, 
um, you'd be able to outfit uh, yourself uh, fairly well. Um, uh, really great actually again you have a 545 762 by 39 a Saiga 12 and a Glock 23 which could be 19 or 32 so and you got a thousand rounds of 545 to practice with and you give your girlfriend your 545 you don the, fi uh, the 762 by 39 and uh, you're ready to go and you know Again, you know, if you think really that if you're ever going to be in a situation where you might actually need to use your rifle in a defensive situation, um, other than just a handgun or something or a CCW, then you might be advised to uh, be be uh, be be suited with a plate carrier. So I think those are important and they're often overlooked, as well as gas masks and other things. But that's later. All right, I appreciate all the support. And I apologize for uh, my regular subscribers and Matt V2999. He's kind of cool, but I think you should. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I think you should be more realistic about uh, kind of claim a budget setup, even for 2500. Peace out.